Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is LSPDFR and I am your host, Officer Halikins. Couple of things before we get started today. One, I am sorry for not uploading for such a long time. I'm still trying to get the hang of all this and manage this with a full-time job as well as straightening out my life in other capacities. So, with that being said, a couple of changes to the game as we know it. Um, GTA updated, and that was part of the reason that my uploads have not been consistent, because I couldn't play for a while. Uh, on top of that, guys, this is the Explorer that I was wanting to play in a while back, but I couldn't because it would always roll. I got that fixed. I uh, fixed the handling lines for it. Um, on top of that also, we now have police radar. That'll be fun to use today. I also downloaded emergency uniforms pack, as you can see. So now we can actually dress the part instead of just being a generic uh, LSPD police officer everywhere we go. That will be a lot more fun and make the game more realistic. Um, we're out here on US Route 13 in the San Shansky Mountain Range of Blaine County today. Going to be doing some speed patrol, radar patrol, as well as taking some call outs, things like that. We're going to be focusing our efforts on vehicles, though, and uh, more state police matters. Um, so we might, we might skip some call outs that maybe you feel interested in watching. Don't worry, we're going to do those call-outs in different videos, I promise. The call-outs aren't going anywhere. The game just recycles them. Um, but today we have, we have a focus. We're going to be doing some speed radar patrolling here as well right now. We'll be, uh, be getting on duty pretty soon. I have one more thing to say that is kind of unrelated to everything, but I want to bring this up in case anybody wonders or has questions. Um... It might be stupid to bring up, but I'm going to do it anyway. I changed my call sign, and I'll show you that right now. Dispatch, show me 1042. 104, copy that. 1, Queen 10. Okay, so as you can see, my call sign is now 1, Queen 10. And there's two reasons for this. One, I think it sounds really good. And two, um, I'm trans which is kind of obvious with the whole Officer Haleykins thing and how my voice sounds. And I feel like One Queen Ten was a subtle feminine uh, call sign for me. Not looking for your approval, not looking for your hate. I really could care less. I'm here to play a game. But I wanted to put that out there for any of you who are curious. Um, my pronouns are she, her, for those of you who care. For those of you who don't care, your opinion doesn't bother me, so your comment is worthless to me. Anyway, with that being said, let's get into the game. Dispatch 1041. 1041, Queen 10, begin patrol. Remember, guys, we'll be doing more um, traffic policing today than robberies and things like that. So. Let's get into it and have fun. We have citizens reporting an attempted homicide in uh, Santiansky Mountain Range. Dispatch, show me en route. 10 4, copy. 1, Queen 10. We're going to take the uh, assassination attempt call. Respond code 2. Um, just because that's something close by to us and somebody's life is in immediate danger. According to dispatch, we are the closest unit, so we'll go ahead and uh, respond to that for them. And possibly call for backup if necessary. Okay, I see our uh, assassin right there. Go ahead and pull in here and try to get at him if we can. Dispatch requesting backup. Assistance required in uh, Santiansky Mountain Range. Yeah, you know, this guy has heavy firepower. I'm gonna go in with. Uh, Copy that, dispatch. I'm gonna go with my shotgun, and I'll just go non-lethal. 
uh, ammunition. Alright, buddy, yeah, thank you. Kill your siren, thank you. That's uh, actually one of our noose units, or our FIB units, so it's nice to see them out here um, with how uh, high stake this situation is. Go ahead and climb the ladder here and get a peek at what's going on. Kind of wish that I would have brought my... Uh, Alright, buddy. Turn around, put your hands on your head! We are code 4. Suspect neutralized. No further units required. Well, my non lethal ammo didn't work, did it? Uh, yeah. He's gone. Okay, we're just gonna. We're just gonna. So the coroners can take care of him. Just gonna. Just gonna shove him off the. What you looking at, Sheriff? This is a state police matter. Okay, I guess we can't just shove him off the building, so that's okay. Um, I don't know what that's about. Dispatch requesting coroner. Unless I can try to save his life. But I really don't think that's going to be a thing. I really don't think I can save his life. But I'm going to try really quick. Oh, he's now now he's going to fall to the ground. See, that's what I wanted this whole time. And now after I'm done trying to save his life, he's going to fall to the ground. Yeah, they can't get up here, so... If he survives, he's going to die when he falls to the ground. Okay, well, it failed, it failed anyway, so... Oh, no, God, he's alive somehow. Nope, he's dead. Okay. Okay. Um, yep. We're just gonna go down to that person that we dropped uh, to the ground. Don't mind us. Police business. Official police business. That's how we handle our criminals. We shoot them with a shotgun and then throw them on the ground. I mean, he pulled a gun on me. I had no choice. I thought that it would be a more non-lethal approach using the non-lethal ammo. Maybe I shouldn't go with the shotgun next time if we have this happen. Requesting coroner. Assistance required in Santiansky Mountain Range. Did not expect to, uh... Well kill him but he, he pulled a gun on me I mean I I, I, I had legal uh, legal right to use deadly force didn't want to that's what you get damn assassin show me on scene I always forget to uh, just do that Negative dispatch. Roger that. I always forget to tell them I'm on scene or that I'm investigating um, things like that. So if I forget and you catch it, let me know in the comments. Remind me. Let's stop this from happening. With that being said, guys, we're going to be code four and back to our patrol zone. Or back to our patrol spot. Dispatch code four. Attention all units. Code four. No further units required. We're back running radar for a little bit. Um, watching for speeders. This road is highly known for people speeding, but haven't found anyone today doing it. There we go. There's one right there. 76 miles an hour in a 55 mile an hour zone. A white fugitive. We have a suspect on the road. Yeah, dispatch. I'm sorry. We're busy. Grapeseed. Go ahead and clock him here. 
Dispatch, show me on a traffic stop. Dispatch, this is Ocean One responding. Go ahead. Gonna be an ice white fugitive. Uh, license plate to follow. Requesting plate check. Target vehicle license plate. 83 King King Boy 816. Target is 104. Alright, no problems, no priors, doesn't look like. Uh. I'm gonna have a chat with this person, see what's going on. Why are they okay? They got a weapon in their vehicle. I don't like the looks of this. Alright, uh, how you doing, man? Do you know why I pulled you over today? Yeah? Alright, why? Looking forward to violate the that's that that's real funny, buddy. You're a real class act there, ain't you? Alright, now here's the deal, man. I stopped you because you were traveling excessively over the posted speed limit. Matter of fact, you were doing 21 miles an hour over the speed limit. I did not clock you wrong, and I did not clock the wrong car. You were traveling 21 miles an hour over the speed limit. I'm not an idiot, okay? So here's the deal. Uh, why were you speeding, first of all? And I, I can't really ask you that, so how about this? Let me see your driver's okay, license, registration, this. proof of insurance, okay? Right, all your documents are valid. Go ahead and hang tight while I uh, run you through our computer, all right? Appreciate that. All right, don't know why he was speeding, but damn, he sure was booking it. Mr. Leon Wolf, he has a valid gun permit, no citations, no things to uh, cause worry to me. So I'm going to write him a citation and let him be on his way. I mean, I don't see any reason to uh, suspect anything further at this point. He, he's legally able to own the firearm in his hands. So uh, unlawful speed 21, 26 over. He tried saying that I didn't clock him, it wasn't me, and he's just being a smart ass, so he is going to get slapped with exactly what he did. Um, I'm just not going to play that game. If you want to be an asshole, then I'm going to give you the full ticket. If you want to be fair with me, and you want to be straight, and you want to be honest, then maybe I'll cut you a break. Maybe I'll knock it down to the lower tier, you know, maybe instead of 21 to 26, I hit him for 15 over, or something like that, but... With this guy, it just doesn't happen. So we're going to submit this citation and uh, go have a chat with him again. All right, buddy, here's the deal. Right now for the ticket today, okay? 21 miles an hour over the speed limit. Uh, with that being said, please, uh, oops, please watch your speed. Don't bring anything stupid, okay? And uh, you have a good day, all right, sir? Dispatch, code 4, MDC. Attention all units. Code 4, no additional officers needed. Alright, it's as simple as that, guys. And we're going to be uh, heading back to our patrol area once again. Alright, and here we are again. Same place, uh, different time. Gave that guy a ticket, and he was uh, he was okay. wasn't trying to harm us in any way. So, but uh, he was just traveling way too fast for this road, and we can't have that. It's been a quiet day on patrol so far. Dispatch hasn't had a lot of calls for us, so we're just uh, we're just running radar out here and making sure everyone's obeying the speed limit. Keep in mind, guys, that in my mind, I believe the speed limit. Citizens reporting a possible 480 on a Sonora freeway. Units respond code. Dispatch, three. show me in route. We'll go ahead and take care of this. 10 4, copy. 1 Queen 10. Looks like it just happened right here, because you know that's how things work. It's okay. Go ahead and. Oops, don't want to hit that. We'll go ahead and close off the road here. Let's see what's going on. Let's go ahead and stop traffic. 
Let's store our shotgun really quick, too. I forgot to do that last time. Okay, so it's these two vehicles that are involved. We're going to get EMS down here for these guys. Uh, I don't think those two cars are involved. Dispatch requesting EMS. Ambulance. Assistance required on a uh, Sonora freeway. Okay, this guy looks like he's drunk. You know what? Maybe they were involved in the collision. Blown tire. Nope, don't want to do that. Alright, how you doing, sir? Why do you keep trying to open the door? No! Stop getting into the damn car! Come here, dude. Okay, I'm going to have you follow me, all right, buddy? Off to the side of the road, okay? Little further, come on. Yeah, you're dr you're wasted. That's all right. Looks like you were a wrong way driver, too. All right, sir, I'm going to sit right here, okay? I'm going to have a chat with these guys over here. See what's going on. Hood slide like Bo Duke. I don't think she is able to, uh, to survive. That's a DUI causing a death. No, don't open the door. Stop doing that. It's, uh... Shot by a firearm. That's not what actually happened. That's probably what the game does to make sure she's dead. Or what the plug-in does to make sure she's dead. So I get it. Um, we're going to go ahead and get a corner down here for her. Assistance required. What um, the fuck? Well, our coroner sure knows how to get here in a timely manner, I guess. Holy shit. I'm going to attempt to drive these vehicles off of the road. Uh, don't know if they'll run or not, but I want to get them off, off the road, get them searched. Especially our... Uh... Yeah, his vehicle's not going to be moving tonight or today. All right, we're going to just go ahead and search his vehicle right now. He's going to jail. He's drunk. half full hard liquor bottle so obviously uh, drinking and driving there let's get a tow truck out here for this flatbed assistance required on um, Sonora freeway go ahead and search this vehicle as well the suspect is the subject of this vehicle is dead but I want to make sure they weren't drinking as well um, I'm going to ignore that. That just seems wholly unrealistic, honestly. But we're going to get this vehicle towed as well. Flatbed. The, uh, required on, um, Sonora Freeway. the firearms in that vehicle there just don't make for any more of a story. So there's no sense to me to uh, play that out, as it were. Looks like she might be involved in the wreck as well. Question the pad. What happened? Okay. Alright, well your car's getting towed. It's it's undrivable. Um you're not willing to talk to me, so we're just going to get you out of here, okay? Mm -hmm. Get an ambulance he, yeah, gets you checked ambulance. out. Assistance required on Sonora Freeway. Let's go. We'll 
Go ahead and tow this vehicle as well. Flatbed. Assistance required on what the crap? Sonora Freeway. What happened? I think that woman punched someone. Okay. Um, again, guys, that doesn't play into the narrative of a collision. It just, it doesn't. So, once again, I'm going to have an ambulance come take you and check you out. And uh, I'll have your insurance to uh, take the car to your house, okay? Or I'll have it towed to your house for free. Thank you for trapping me in here. I appreciate that. Tow truck. Okay, we'll get that all taken care of. Now that that's taken care of, I can get this, get my car off the road here. Now we'll chat with this guy, see what's going on here. This is uh, rather a scene. All right, go ahead and, uh, you, know, you been drinking tonight, today? Okay, then. Where'd you come from? A party. Where are you heading to? Well, I would think you've been drinking and driving. Go ahead and stand it for me, okay? Alright, buddy. Here's the deal. Um, I know you've been drinking. Would you consent to field sobriety tests? And a breathalyzer? You can sue me all you want to. Let's do a horizontal gaze test for him, okay? Yeah, I figure he's just blazed. Let's do a one leg stand. He's not going to be able to pass this, I can tell you that right now. Didn't think so. All right, buddy. Here's the deal. You're uh, you're under arrest tonight. But would you pass me your ID, please? I much appreciate that. No gun permit. All right, sir. You're under arrest tonight. You're under arrest, asshole. Drinking and driving. Um, his his name is Hard Rock. Okay. Uh, drinking and driving, and uh, actually involuntary manslaughter as well. Uh, at this point so yeah not good buddy go ahead and turn off our traffic control finally not good okay yeah a ped check from you and we're gonna go from there all right an outstanding warrant too nice this guy is uh it is just not his day let's do a breathalyzer test see where he's actually at then we'll get him searched and um, take care of all that. Open container in the car, drinking and driving, involuntary manslaughter, uh, warrant for his arrest, DUI. Just this guy is uh, this guy is struggling. He's having a really hard time, uh, and he's not going to have any better time in prison. Crushed beer can. So open containers all over the place. All right, sir, I'm gonna grab onto you here. We're taking you to my car, okay? All right, do me a favor and watch your head. I'm gonna put you in the back seat. All right, let me open the door for you. All right, go ahead and stay in there. Don't try to do anything stupid, and uh, we'll get your paperwork written up and. Uh, have someone transport you to the nearest jailhouse. Get our uh, speed radar turned off temporarily. All right, Mr. Hard Rock, arson in the first degree. Uh, he's gonna get cited today for open container in a motor vehicle. And I don't know if Driving the wrong way is a ticket or an arrest, so I need to check. 
Crossing double yellow. That's not driving in the wrong way, though. Operation criminal? Criminal? Criminal. Okay, so it is an arrestable offense. We are going to actually arrest him for that due to his intoxication status. He has a warrant for first degree arson as well. So, felony traffic. Um, oh, wait. I need to check on his... Uh, one second, guys. I didn't check to see if he has any prior DUIs. DUI narcotics. I didn't see he was on any drugs. He was drunk. Um, is what I can tell so this is gonna be a DUI first offense misdemeanor DUI DUI first offense actually I think DUI causing death Okay, got that set apart here. Got him for the open containers. I need to go into uh, felony traffic, I think. No, no, just misdemeanor traffic, I believe. Driving to the wrong side of the road. Okay, now for his arson charge. Arson first degree. And that's going to be it. Um, yeah, drunk as a skunk, shouldn't be driving. That's what happens, though. You know, you make those choices, and it uh, it turns out bad for you. Going to hop out of the vehicle really quick, give him his ticket, and uh, call a transport for him. And uh, he's going to jail tonight. And he's not uh, not getting out for a while. That's, that's pretty apparent. All right, buddy, here's your ticket. Hand it through the door here. Dispatch requesting prisoner transport for one subject. 10 4, copy that. Transport required. Well, that was unexpected. Um, that wreck turned into a pretty bad, uh, pretty bad episode. Somebody had to die because of it, and uh, I didn't get him with involuntary manslaughter. Oh, well. The DUI causing death is uh, essentially the same thing, and it's actually a little harsher. But, uh, yeah. I mean, that sucks for him, but let it be a lesson that, you know, if you're going to have a drink, don't drive. And it's only 7 in the morning, so, I mean, why are you that blitzed anyway? You know, where do you have to go that's so important at that point? Oh, my God. 71 miles an hour. All right, buddy. That's not okay on my watch. He is just booking it up there, too. He is not slowing down. This one might turn into pursuit. I hope it doesn't, but it might. Oh, yeah. He is just booking it. It's going to be a land stalker here. Dispatch requesting a plate check. Wasn't close enough. We'll get it when he pulls over. Love that they brake check you every single time you try to pull them over. I would suggest stopping soon. There we go. Dispatch requesting a plate check. Step out here. Am I not close enough to him? Dispatch requesting a plate check. There we go. Target vehicle license plate to Ida David George 007. Target is 10-4. No issues on this guy. Just uh, doing 71 and a 55. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Alright, uh, how you doing, buddy? You know I pulled you over today? 
Okay. Okay. Tell you what, man, my camera's recording. I hope you know that. All right. Well, man, look. I pulled you over because you were speeding today. Okay. Doing 71 and a 55. That's not all right. Yeah, I'm sure you didn't. That's what everyone says, man. Okay. Can I see your documents, license, registration, proof of insurance, all that jazz? Appreciate it, man. All right, go ahead and hang tight. I'll be right back, okay? All right. Trespassing notice, stopping on railroad, requiring a helmet. He's got a gun permit. He's not wanted. Pardon me. Um, it's going to be just a citation. Just a uh, simple citation here. Go ahead and get in there for the speeding. And uh, write him up for doing 16 miles an hour over. Simple as that, guys. You, know, you just obey the speed limit, man, and the cops won't bother you, you know? And that's, I know there's a lot more that can be said for that, guys, so don't come at me like I'm uh, one of those people. I'm not, okay? This is, this is role play. Uh, it's a game. Don't get your panties in a twist, okay? All right. That's going to be that. I didn't tell this much. I was on a traffic stop there. That was my mistake. That's for sure. But uh, we're going to be back code four. Citizens reporting a suspicious vehicle in Sandy Shores. All right, we got a suspicious parked car. Uh, dispatch, show me en route. 10 4 1 Queen 10. That uh, came up on our. Uh, one of our calls here while we're heading back to our standard patrol area doing radar. We're going to check this out. Um, it's going to be a purple Schaffer number two here. Ah, oh, there was a car there. God damn it. And now he's all pissed off at me. I, I know how to drive. I know how to drive. <laughs> I have a license. I would hope. Okay, yeah. Make sure you guys are watching uh, watching in front of you when uh, driving your police cruisers. Looks like we're going to be back behind the U-Tool here. Yellow circle on the map. Purple Sheffer 2. We got a car parked right there. Go ahead and pull down this road. I'm gonna pull my car up in this area here. Just in case something turns nasty. What do we got going on in there? Looks like some things that we should not be talking about on YouTube. Go ahead and draw my firearm here. Approach the subject. Okay. It's exactly what I think it is. Out of the vehicle, okay? God! Damn it, he killed me. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. He pulled out a gun over that. Alright, well, we'll just we'll just go back on duty. It's okay. Well, we're back on patrol here. Um Can't believe what just happened, honestly. Kind of, uh, kind of outrageous. 
I have a realistic gun, a realistic deadly weapons mod installed, so... I mean, I'm not like... We've got citizens reporting an attempted arson attack on Sonora Freeway. Dispatch, show me in route. 10 4, copy that. 1 Queen 10. This is Adam 5, copy that. We'll keep. Oh, the game just crashed. Alright, well, that's, uh. That's kinda gonna do it for this, uh. Episode. Maybe not? I don't know. I still have everything, it seems like. Let's see if LSPDFR wants to play nice. We're gonna turn around right here. Here's our guy with the jerry can. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Hey, you wanna stop for me? Hey, you wanna stop for me? Hey, buddy. Hey, I'm talking to you. Hey. Hey, man, cool it. Okay. Loser. How about you stop for me, okay? Let's have a chat. All right. Yeah, I think it. Uh, I think it broke my my plugins. Got one tased. Yeah, it definitely broke my plugins. Um, I don't have anything on there. So, yeah, guys, that's uh, that's gonna do it for today's episode. I uh, wish I could have been doing a little more, but uh, it was fun. <laughs> I hate GTA sometimes. It was fun while it lasted, and hopefully we uh, we can do more like this. Um, I look forward to doing more patrols. I'm hopefully gonna start getting into this, uh, getting into this more, and being more active in it. Now that I kind of have all the plugins I need and have everything that I want um, still kind of mad that that guy just uh, shot and killed me but you know it happens it's the line of duty and hey uh, unlike our fellow officers in blue here in real life uh, I have a respawn button um, so guys make sure that you guys thank police officers and you uh, realize all they do for us and show them the respect that they deserve because they're out there and while this is a video game, some of the situations that you see in this game happen in real life. You know, a cop can approach a car for something as simple as a speeding ticket, and it turns into a high-speed pursuit and a shootout because that person has a warrant or that person just wants to kill a police officer. So, make sure you think about that kind of stuff when you, um... When you see a police officer and you realize how much they actually do to uh, to protect the citizens of your area, what in the F? So with that being said though guys, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, hit the don't like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you want to get notified when I upload, ring that notification bell. And if you don't do it, well, then obviously you just don't like me, and that's okay, too. Uh, with that being said, guys, have a good one. And uh, this is 1Queen10, and I am 1041.